Hi there, Internet. I'm Polo the Polar Bear, and welcome to another episode of the Micro Bear Gourmet. This is my new beard. I didn't... I got it cut a little shorter on... I'm mirrored. I think it was... Yeah, it was this side. I got it cut a little bit shorter on this side than on this side by accident because I did it myself, and I'm not an expert beardsmith just yet, but... I think it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, it's not at least at the very least. It's not awful. I almost look like my own evil twin, like from a Star Trek episode. But I've got kind of the connecting element, so it's not that bad. Um, we're gonna try uh, a Jimmy Dean, uh, another Jimmy Dean bowl. This one is not a breakfast bowl. Um, this one is a steak bowl, grilled steak bowl with, and it it looked like it had. Uh, like green and red pepper and potato and steak and there were before I cooked it I, I looked at the top of it like because I you know I'm, I'm interested in what the thing looks like before it's before it's actually microwave there were like one of the ingredients that lists on the box is shredded cheese and there were literally five shreds of cheese like this long and you know yay thick and like you can't really, I don't know if you can really claim to have shredded cheese in your product if it's literally five shreds of cheese. But before I get around to actually uh, actually trying this thing, I gotta bring it down to kind of a somber note for a minute. Um, friend of the show, uh, Kristen, who um, lives kind of up in the Melissa neck of the woods, who I've, like, I've actually hung out with. We played uh, Cards Against Humanity for a while. Um, with uh, with her husband, which was a ton of fun, um, and they like they've got three like really affectionate dogs and a kitty cat who's also very affectionate, and they're really they're really nice folks. Um, and they've they've given like uh, quite a few like donations to the show. She just uh, Kristen just got us um, spotted dick, <laughs> which we'll be trying uh, probably. Around the end of the month, Melissa and I will try Spotted Dick together, uh, which for those of you who don't know, Spotted Dick is like a bread pudding, um, and it's it's a British thing. I, I think it's I think it's a British thing, um, and uh, and it's yeah, it's a bread pudding with like spotted just means it has raisins in it. And I'm look Melissa is pensive about it, but I'm looking forward to it because I haven't tried bread pudding, but it sounds delicious. Um, she also she gave us that little like uh, that little hot sauce which we actually we haven't filmed that episode yet that's another episode that's gonna get filmed because I Melissa and I forgot about it like in the back of the thing at like the back of her refrigerator and then on the last day we were like oh no we didn't do that thing and then we couldn't find it and then like I I left and she like uh, two or three days later I'm like. Oh, we left it in the little thing where the butter traditionally goes, like the little butter door. And that's why we forgot about it, because it just, like, it wasn't visible. So she gave it back to me, and then we were going to try it last time she came up here. We didn't get around to it then either, because we, we didn't have that much time. She was here for, like, a day, so we were just kind of hanging out. And, and it's in my fridge right now, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and make sure, like, extra make sure that I remember it. Um, so that I can take it back up to her and we can try it up there. And she also got, uh, she also got us, uh, bonbons, which I've heard of but have not tried, so I'm looking kind of forward to that as well. But, uh, you know, again, uh, really, really nice person, uh, has given a lot to the show. And, um, she, not, not her personally, I'm, well, she's going through a rough time right now too, but, um, her mother... Just found out that she's got uh, cancer, and it's it's really not good. Um, and uh, she's she has a GoFundMe page up for uh, you know donations, basically to help her with medical bills. And this this isn't something I normally do, like on the show or even like even on Facebook. Um, if I mean I you know I'll I'll, I'll share something like I'll, I'll share some things, but for the most part, like I, I don't pass chain stuff around, but. Um, you know, she's like again. She's a really good friend of the show, and and I, you know, I, I feel really bad for you know her going through a troubled time, her mother going through a troubled time. Like, so I, I kind of wanted to do something to help. I figured, um, you know, I I don't have a lot of spare cash kicking around myself, but I thought maybe you know if uh, if one of you guys you know had had even like ten, fifteen bucks, whatever, like every little bit helps. Uh, you could go and and throw it up on uh, on their GoFundMe, and I'll have it. 
um, linked to the, uh, to the... I'll have it linked to the, um, linked in the description down below. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and yeah, like I said, I, this isn't nor normally something I'll do, so I, you know, you won't see, like, I, I won't be putting up, like, a request for money on every video or anything, <laughs> just, just so you guys know, but it kind of, kind of special circumstances, because, you know, she is, she, she's kind of, like, she's a, she's a friend of Melissa, she's becoming a friend of mine, she's a friend of the show, so, um, you know, I, I, I felt it pertinent to, to do that for her, so, you know, uh, Thoughts, thoughts and prayers are, are with her mother at the moment, and uh, hoping that goes as smoothly as possible. And if you guys have a couple extra bucks kicking around, you wouldn't mind kneeing up to the cause. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. And uh, I'm going to go ahead... Ugh, sorry. <clears throat> Let me... A little bit. A little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop. Stop that. And uh, try the product again. Jimmy Dean Grilled Steak Bowl, it's, which I guess this would be a dinner bowl, because you don't really have... I mean, some people have steak and eggs for breakfast, but there's no eggs in here, so... Yeah, it's... What kind of potatoes? They were... Yeah, okay, beef with golden potatoes, which I don't... Golden potatoes? Uh, peppers and onions in a savory beef sauce, which that sounds good. And, spoiler alert, it smells delicious, I don't know if that means it's going to be delicious, because I haven't actually tried it, but it smells amazing. So, reach over here and get it, I can show it to you. Should have cooled down enough by now that I can actually eat it. That's what it looks like. It's got kind of a gravy to it. That's the beef sauce. Um, oh, I should still probably put that on a plate. Yeah, it's still kind of warm, so let me get... I'll, I'll kind of see if I can get like a piece of, piece of steak, because that's... I mean, the most important thing about this, since it's, you know, the main attraction is the steak, is how the steak tastes. Mm. And the steak tastes quite good. It's quite a good uh, microwave steak product. I mean, my, you know, microwave steak has a has a wholly different taste to, like, an actual steak that you, you know, broil or... Uh, fry or whatever it is you do to steak, um, you know, whatever your chosen steak prep method is, so, but for, like, a, a steak, you know, prepared in the microwave with all the preservatives and, and stuff in it, tastes very good. Um, let me do a potato, because I, I think I know what a golden potato entails, but I'm not 100% sure, so let me, that's a little potato there. That ain't bad. It's not great. Not bad. Um, let me... Finally, I'm just going to kind of try and get a mix of everything. Get like a piece of steak, a potato, uh, a pepper, and an onion. Oh, I don't, I don't actually see the onions. They may be in the sauce. Oh, no, there's an onion. Okay, onion, pepper. Come on, little fella. Okay, potato... And stake the cap it all off. There you go. I got. Let me set. Doing a couple different things at once here. Yeah. All right. That's that's our bite with kind of everything in it. You can see the pepper there, onion, little onion, piece of potato, and some steak. The potato really dominates the taste of that bite, um, which, and that's, that's a pretty strong tasting potato, which the potato, just by themselves, like in the little gravy, they taste good, but it does kind of like, as a whole product, it overpowers a little bit the taste of the other ingredients, and of course, potatoes are like, what, one cent for a hundred pounds of potatoes, like they're very, very cheap, so... Um, you know, the potato is the most prominent item in there. Uh, next prominent, probably steak, then peppers and onions, uh, and, and the five shreds of cheese at the bottom somewhere. But, um, 
you know, so it's I, I'd say it's good, but I'd say it's it's hampered a little bit by the pepper kind of or not the pepper. <clears throat> oh goodness, sorry about that. Got a little bit of pot potato like right here. Mm. Woke up really dehydrated this morning. Like I got, sometimes doesn't always happen. Maybe like one night out of every two weeks or something. But my mouth will just eh. And, like, when I wake up in the morning, my my mouth will just be dry as a bone. So, yeah, the potato overpowers the taste of the rest of the ingredients. Not awesome, because uh, I don't like the potatoes more than I like the steak, say. So I'd rather have the steak be the overpowering taste in that. And, you know, because it's a steak bowl, obviously. So I, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to give it a six, which I, I think if the steak were the dominant flavor, because that steak's really good, I would have given it a 7. But as it is, 6 out of 10, um, not, you know, not a little bit above average, but not something that I would get. And it, it was pretty expensive, too, like about the, about the price of an average breakfast bowl, which you get... That's that's not like up or down as far as points go because you get you get the food you pay for like it's got steak in it that's a premium ingredient so that's a little bit more expensive than than that and it's a good amount of food it's got a lot of starch in there so that'll that'll fill you up um, I that'll fill you up probably for breakfast or lunch I don't know if that'd be a dinner I don't know if there's enough food in there but. I'd, I'd say I wouldn't give it points up or down. I'd just give it a six. Say it's a little bit better than average on taste-wise. Doesn't earn a bump up or down on the uh, on the price. So, and would I recommend that? I don't. I mean, unless you really love potatoes, which if you love potatoes, you can get probably better potatoes than that for less money than you would have to buy to and just like you know you want the gravy, make some brown gravy. Get some brown gravy mix for like. 50 cents, a dollar, whatever, make it up, chop up like six potatoes and chuck it in there. Uh, so yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think I'd recommend the uh, Jimmy Dean grilled steak bowl, unfortunately. I think that's the one Jimmy Dean product that I haven't like, that I haven't recommended because I, I usually really like their bowls and I usually like anything Jimmy Dean puts out. I'm usually a big fan of, but yeah, six out of 10, no recommendation on the, uh, on the grilled steak bowl. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I've got, I think I've got 84 subs right now, which is awesome. So welcome, welcome new people. Um, thank you for, uh, thank you for subbing. I hope you'll stick around. I hope you'll continue to enjoy and I hope to see you all very, very soon.